More than 300,000 students in Quebec are back in the classroom today. Hundreds of schools across the province have been closed since November due to a teacher's strike. Now, in the last hour, Quebec's education minister unveiled his plan to get kids caught up on lost time. The CBC's Jennifer Yoon is at a school in Montreal's Westmount neighborhood. So, Jennifer, what do parents need to know that came out of that news conference? So parents need to know that the Quebec government is spending $300 million for additional tutoring with the hope that kids can catch up on all that time that they missed. And Education Minister Bernard Lainville is really counting on people to chip in and all help out. Take a listen to what he had to say earlier this morning. Today, I think we are sending a very strong message that we are taking every means possible to allow our students to overcome the difficulties created by the strikes and try to bring as many of these students as possible to success, to achieving success in the current school year. So here are some of the details of that plan. So tutoring outside school hours will be available on a voluntary basis. Teachers who are employed now will hopefully volunteer for that, he's hoping. And the Quebec government also is hoping to hire retired teachers as well as student teachers uh, to help out there. There's also going to be specialized help for kids with special needs. And we've heard concern about this from parents of kids, for example, who are on the autism spectrum, how they've taken a step back because of how long they've been out of school. Uh, we've also heard concern from kids, uh, parents who have kids that are new arrivals here in Quebec and they have, you know, needs to learn French or learn other things about the society and they'll be given special attention as well. There will also be an emergency fund of $42 million for organizations that work with families to help kids catch up on the material they missed and ministerial exams will be pushed back and they'll also count for less. But here's the important thing. The school year will not be extended. That's not in the cards. And so now, Jennifer, where do we stand in terms of contract negotiations then at this point? Yeah, well, the FAE, the, the teachers union that launched the unlimited strike in November and represents teachers mostly in the French uh, network, they have uh, reached a tentative deal with the Quebec government over the holidays. We don't know the details of that deal just yet, and that's because the union has said that they would like to make the details available for their members before they make it public. But we do know that members are going to be voting on whether they want to reject or accept that deal in the coming weeks. Uh, the common front, which is uh, the coalition of public sector unions and which represents some of the teachers that were also on strike. They were off the job for 11 days in total. That, that, that adds up to about a week and a little bit uh, in terms of class time. Well, they have a deal where they've gotten a salary augmentation, salary increase of 17.4% 17 17 over the next five years with a clause uh, that would protect them against inflation. So those members will also be voting on that tentative deal if they want to accept it or reject it in the coming weeks, Arthi. Thanks for this, Jennifer. That's Jennifer Yoon reporting in Montreal.